The year is 2024. All the main people from Psyonix have left Epic now. Epic make Rocket League 2. It's free to play and an Epic Store exclusive. It's childish, cartoonish graphics. The physics and gameplay is completely wrong. It's terrible. But don't fear. The old devs have formed a new studio, release an unrelated game, Car Soccer Unleashed, which is identical to the original Rocket League, just with updated graphics. Us hardcore from the glory days of Rocket League will flock to this version and rejoice. So Epic Games bought Psyonix. Straight up bought Rocket League like it was produce at a farmer's market. Yes, I'll take one car soccer, please. Here's undisclosed dollars. The Rocket League community reacted to this in a level-headed, rational way. Why does everything I love fucking turn to shit? Congrats, you're no longer an indie dev that needs my financial support and advocacy. Yeah, not a single key or Twitch view. Wait, whoa, 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 let's, let's uh, think about this rationally here, guys. This game was epic, now it belongs to epic. Goodbye, Rocket League. It was fun. Edited for down votes. This sellout move will surely ruin Rocket League forever and more games will follow. Psyonix will tell you that it's for the players, but if you believe that, you're just another sheep in the Fortnite pasture. I already permanently removed it from my Steam library last night out of rage. Now it just feels justified, in my opinion. RL will lose a lot of players because of Epic. I've been playing it for the last month and have around 100 hours. Never touching it again. After 1500 hours of loving this game, it gets bought by Epic. Thanks for killing the workshop and custom maps. Thanks for killing Linux and Mac users. What a joke. I love RL and was even eventually going to buy it on... <laughs> Not anymore. Well, it's been a good run, boys. Farewell. Why has Psyonix been bought out by Epic Games, you idiots? Rocket League is joining the uninstall family. Epic will kill this game and everyone who plays it. As I said in a previous thread, I doubt anyone financially dependent or invested in Rocket League are gonna be overly critical of the buyout. Last thing they'd want is the community to abandon the game and the paychecks to stop flowing. Wait, don't we all want the game to not die? <laughs> okay, since I'm financially dependent on Rocket League and therefore my opinion is invalid, let's go over the possible pros and cons of this move from an objective point of view. Con number one. Epic is a massive company with a history of anti-consumer business moves and now they own the game we love. This doesn't feel too good. Pro number one, Rocket League will likely go free to play soon, which is something that the community's asked for for a long, long time. Con number two, free to play means the game will grow even more mainstream, which means us Rocket League players won't be able to feel like we're better than everyone else anymore. Furthermore, Epic owns Fortnite, which is the most popular game in the world. And if there's anything we love to hate the most, it's popular things. Pro number two, Rocket League will become more popular. Wait, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I like to feel like I'm special and better than other gamers, but I also want more people to play. All right, the pros and cons list is already getting confusing, so let's just move on to another con so this stays less complicated. Con, the Epic Game Launcher sucks ass and Rocket League will eventually be moved there. Wait, moved there? So does that mean it won't be on Steam? Okay, so this was misreported apparently. Pro, it will continue to be supported on Steam for existing purchasers. Whew. Con, but what about future DLC? Pro, future DLC will also be supported on Steam and also only 21% of the entire player base is on Steam, so most Rocket League players actually don't give a shit about whether it's on Steam or not. We're the most important though, so don't ever forget that we're superior guys, just like we're better than Fortnite players too. Con, Epic could be lying to us and pull it from Steam in the future. It definitely wouldn't be the first time they lied to consumers. I mean, like this guy so eloquently put, what if we're all just another sheep in the Fortnite pasture? Might as well move on to the next pro, I guess. I mean, Bad. Pro, the Rocket League esports scene could get a huge boost with way bigger prize pools, more tournaments with bigger prize pools, and more orgs invested in the bigger prize pools. Basically money. There's more money now. Con. 
Epic has kind of screwed up the Fortnite esports scene, and players are mad because they tweak the game a lot, sometimes even right before competitive events. What if they tweak Rocket League? That would suck. Pro. Rocket League isn't Fortnite. Con. But what if they change Rocket League? Pro. But they probably won't. Con. The news of this acquisition will anger the player base so much that the community will leave and stop playing Rocket League, as predicted by these reviews and comments. Pro. They didn't leave because they're all addicted to Rocket League. Con. This guy was going to buy Rocket League, but now he isn't. Pro. The community has ragged on Psyonix nonstop for the last two years about how they're not doing enough to change and grow the game, how they've mismanaged the esports scene, how their servers are terrible, how they do crates and keys instead of a store like Fortnite does. So if I were them, I would have sold it in a heartbeat as well. Honestly, I would have given it away for a titanium white octane. Still don't have one of those. All jokes aside though, as silly as I think some of these reactions we've seen are, I've also read a ton of really well thought out legitimate concerns. And honestly, I think such a strong reaction speaks volumes to how much the Rocket League community cares about our game. I don't really want to give my opinion because as it's already been pointed out, I make a living off of the game, therefore I'm biased. Actually, you know what? That's stupid because being financially dependent on the game means I have even more to lose if the game dies. My opinion matters just as much as you guys because I want this game to succeed and grow just as much, if not more than the next guy. And yeah, Yes, the shit I've read about Epic's questionable practices makes me pretty nervous that these guys not only own my favorite game, but also my source of income. I don't want that messed up. Change is scary. And let me be clear, if Epic kills Rocket League, I am fu. But on the other hand, as a YouTuber, I've always secretly envied Fortnite content creators because I knew no matter what videos I made, I could never grow my channel to that size because as awesome as you guys are, there just aren't as many of you out there. So the prospect of Rocket League going free to play and becoming this massive popular game in the future gets me very, very excited. But the thing that encourages me the most is that someone as huge as Epic saw the same potential in Rocket League that we've always seen. We just don't have the same undisclosed amount of dollars to buy it like they did. So to summarize, I am nervous, but excited. And let me make one more thing clear. I will actually leave this game forever, if even once, you forget to use creator code SUNLESS. Thanks guys.